Good morning. My name is Mindy Clemens and today's workshop is called Telling Your Story. So sometimes we use the word testimony and when we say testimony people often think about telling the story of how they became a Christian, how they um, became a Jesus follower. But testimony actually comes from the root word to testify and that means just to tell what has happened. It's something that might occur in a courtroom. You're telling what happened when you were there. It's simply telling your story. And so your story, your testimony, is really like an advent calendar. And I'm sure you know what those are. It's something that comes out at Christmas time and it has all these little doors. And behind each door there's a piece of candy or a special treat um, or a, a gift or a toy. And so as the days go by you open each door and there's a surprise in there. So your story, your testimony, is really a series of advent calendar doors. And there are things that happened to you before your conversion that are part of your story about how God was reaching out to you. And then one of those doors is the day you committed to following Christ, the day you surrendered. But after that, there are many more doors of how God was busy working in your life um, every week, every month. I mean, there are so many stories. Your Advent calendar of testimonies is really endless. And so we are commanded to become storytellers, to tell what God has been doing, to bring him glory, but also to encourage other people. And scripture gives us lots of examples of this. In Mark 5, 19, um, we see the story of Jesus telling the man who was healed, go home and tell everyone what has happened to you. And then we see in John 9, 25, there's a blind man that Jesus healed. And people are asking lots of questions. And the man says, well, I don't know anything about Jesus, but I can tell you I was blind and now I see. This is what has happened to me. And in Acts 4.20, we see um, Peter and John before the court. And they say, we can't help but share everything that has happened to us. And so storytelling is, is part of our calling as followers of Christ to tell what has been going on. So if you would, that's what we're going to work on today. And I'd like to ask you to pray with me as we get started. So, dear Lord Jesus, I pray as we work through the workshop today that your spirit would be busy bringing stories and events to mind that you would like your people to share. Just make it clear um, as we go through the worksheet. Put specific things on people's hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're working today on a worksheet like this. And if you don't have one, don't worry. It has three simple sections and I'm going to walk you through each one of them. So you don't have to have the paper, but um, just follow along through the sections. So as we begin to think about your story, I want you to think about what has God been doing recently in your life? What's on your mind? What's been going on? Um, what challenges have you faced? And how did God show up? And so part one on your worksheet then says, what was the situation? Can you, um, can you name the type of challenge that you were facing, the primary emotion maybe that you were feeling? I'll give you some ideas. Uh, some challenges we face could be related to our health or to our finances, maybe to our work situation, to our marriage, to our children, to other relationships that we are struggling with. Maybe it has to do with habits or addictions, or maybe you're having challenges with your housing situation. Some other challenges that we face are more internal. Maybe you've been wrestling with anger or anxiety and fear, maybe shame or insecurity, maybe depression or rejection, resentment, or maybe you're feeling like you lack purpose. Maybe your stress level is crazy. Maybe you're discontent or lonely. Or maybe you have some really um, neat answered prayers when you were looking for wisdom or direction or concerns that you prayed about to God and he answered. Those are great stories. So I want you to stop and write on your worksheet one primary situation that you want to work on this um, as we go through this workshop. And what was the primary emotion? Go ahead and pause the video and stop and work on your worksheet. All right, welcome back. So 
part two on your worksheet then, this big section here, is the question of how was God active? What, what happened? Can you narrate your story in three to five sentences? Um, tell us just what happened, bullet points, one, two, three. Now, we don't have a long time, so kind of narrow it down, uh, but just make it three sentences. What happened? What was the climax, like a good narrative story? And then how was it resolved at the end? What was the lesson or the conclusion there? Narrow it down. Imagine you run into somebody um, at lunch or in the deli, or maybe you're in the car pickup line at school. I mean, you got maybe two or three minutes. People have a short attention span. So see if you can narrow it down to just three to five bullet points. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll wait for you while you work. All right, welcome back. So now what I want you to do is I want you to practice telling your story. I want you to share it with the people at your table group or um, in your small group if you're working through this. Um, don't worry if they're sitting at your table or in your small group, they're probably your friends. It's not a scary thing. You can tell your story. If you're doing this by yourself, I still want you to stop and practice because if you do it two or three times, you will get better at it. So I'm going to wait while you pause the video again and practice telling your story with the people at your table or in your group. Okay, welcome back. Part three, the last part on your worksheet down here at the bottom, says who can you encourage with your story? I want you to think about specific scenarios where you could share your story. Imagine conversations something that might be um, an entry point for you to share your story. What kind of discussion would be a natural moment for you to share? Also, are there specific people that you could encourage with your story? Has God brought any names to mind? Maybe a neighbor or a friend or someone you're like, oh, they could probably be encouraged by my story because I know what's going on in their life. And I want you to pray for an opportunity to share it with them and then do it. Just go ahead and share your story. So I'm gonna pause again while you write some names down and think about scenarios on your worksheet. All right, welcome back. So as we wrap up this workshop, I wanna give you three quick examples from my own life that are little advent calendar window stories about things God has been doing in my life recently. So are you ready? Here's the first one. I am so sorry that you are facing this health challenge. You know, recently my dad had severe back pain for like three weeks. And one night my husband and I said, let's sit down and pray for this very specifically. And so we did. And the next day his pain was totally gone. I don't know how it happened, but it was really exciting. And I'm pretty sure God doesn't heal everyone, but for us, he healed my dad. Is that something I could pray for, for you? Could we pray right now? Gosh, it's so frustrating when you don't know what to do. I, you know, recently I had a situation where I was really not sure what was the right thing to be doing. And I had kind of been praying about it over a couple of months. And I, I really needed God to give me some very clear direction. So I set aside some time and I spent the morning praying about that. And do you know the next day, two very specific things happened. Things that people came and talked to me and shared with me. And I was like, God is answering my prayer. He gave me the direction that I was looking for. And you know, in the Bible, in the book of James, it says, God will give wisdom to everyone who asks. Could I pray for you about your situation and, and that God would give you wisdom and direction? Wow, your situation sounds like you are so stressed. I would be really anxious about that. Sometimes I struggle with anxiety. And, you know, after the hurricane, I used to have these crazy dreams and I would be up walking around in my kitchen at three o'clock in the morning, exhausted, stressed, I couldn't sleep, and I would pray about it, but it really didn't seem to help a whole lot. And then I have a friend who's a counselor and she encouraged me to go ahead and put a name on my anxiety to figure out what was going on behind all of it and then bring that to God. So I said, finally, I sat down and I was like, gosh, God, I am so anxious. Everything feels out of my control. I'm concerned about our finances. I'm concerned about our contractors and if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I'm concerned that things might never be okay again. 
but God, I trust you. And do you know, once I put a name on what it was that I was so afraid of, and I brought it back to God, and then my counselor friend also encouraged me to memorize some scripture. And so I picked some verses from Psalm 46, and it says, even if the earth shakes and the mountains give way, the Lord reigns. Be still and know that I am God. And so when I get anxious, I'll work at naming what that is, and I go back to the verses that I memorize. So is that something that I can pray about for you or that you overcome this stressful situation? I'm so sorry that you're having to deal with that right now. So did you see I gave you three quick stories? One was about a health concern, one was about looking for wisdom and direction, and the other was about dealing with anxiety. All three of my stories were actually about prayer. All of them normalized the challenges that we face in our daily lives. In fact, the last story normalized going to seek counseling. And all of them led to a moment where I could pray for somebody else, encourage somebody else, or just speak truth into their lives. That's what we want. We want you to go tell your story of how God has been working and be an encouragement to other people. We read in Psalm 66, verse 16, Listen, and I will tell you what the Lord has done for me. Go tell your stories. Bring joy to others. Thank you.